Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to fire up one of the Kamado Joes and we are going to make pork belly burnt ends and I'm going to do kind of my spin on a Malcolm Reed recipe. So let's get started. We're going to get this party started with a piece of pork belly. This is about one third of a whole pork belly that I bought. I bought this at Costco and it's a skin off pork belly so we don't have to worry about that. And I cut this guy into thirds because I'm going to do three different things with it. But we're going to start out with a uh, pork belly burn in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into strips here that are roughly an inch and a half thick. And then after I get those sliced that way, I'm going to bring them back and cut them about the same thickness in the other direction to make cubes out of these. And once I have those cubed, I'm going to I put them all in a large mixing bowl here. And I'm going to shake rub on here and then just toss these by hand and get these guys completely coated with rub. And today I'm using uh, the Man Cave Meals pork mojo with just a little bit of uh, the AP mojo mixed in with it. It's probably about one part AP mojo, two parts pork mojo, but use whatever kind of uh, pork rub you like best on this and just get them liberally coated about like this. And then after I get this completely coated up, I'm going to put some plastic wrap over the top of this and I'm going to let it ride in the refrigerator like I always do. Uh, you don't have to do that, but I'm going to let these ride overnight and let that seasoning go to work on there before we put them on the grill in the morning. Now it's time to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic. I've got uh, a fire going in the firebox here, and I'm going to use the slow roller today also, and I'm going to put some applewood chunks in there to get a little bit of smoke rolling, and then I'm just going to put my grill grates on the top level here of the divide and conquer flexible cooking rack and then we'll just close the dome lid and then I'm going to set my dome lid over to about just inside the first mark and then I'm going to set up the fireboard 2 drive to run our pit at about 250 degrees my grills up to temp and I've got a nice light smoke roll in there I've taken my burn ends out of the uh, refrigerator and put them on a wire rack here in a drip pan and I couldn't actually fit everything I had on this rack so I'm gonna put the rest of these around the grill on the outside of the pan and we'll just add those back to our process a little bit later in the cook we're gonna let these guys ride in this smoke for somewhere between two and a half to three hours and then we'll be back to move on to the next stage I think I am also gonna move my set temperature for this cook on up to 275 degrees so we'll be back in about two and a half hours to check on these we've been going right at about two and a half hours here and I'm really happy with how these things look right now so we're going to move on to the next step. I'm going to pull these off, put these in a pan, and then we'll be right back. First thing I'm going to do is I've got a stick and a half of butter that I've cut up into cubes that we're going to toss in here and kind of spread these out. And then we're going to sprinkle on some brown sugar. And then we'll drizzle on some honey. And then we'll just cover that with foil and seal it up and we're going to put that back on the grill. We're going to toss this back on here and let it go for another 90 minutes and then we'll be back. While those pork belly burn ends are finishing up in that pan with the cover, we're going to make a little glaze to go on these. And I'm going to start this glaze 
with this uh, Atlanta Grill Company roasted pineapple habanero sauce. This stuff's really delicious. I'm just going to dump out maybe, I don't know, a half a cup or so into this bowl. And I'm going to pour in just a little bit of pineapple juice to thin that up. I'm going to take my whisk and uh, work that until I think I've got a consistency that I like. I want that to be fairly smooth. I think that's probably going to do the trick right there. So, Okay, after 90 minutes, I've gone ahead and pulled these off. And man, would you look at that? Those things look amazing. I want to see how tender we are here. I want to get an idea. Oh yeah, these things are super tender. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these out of this pan and we're going to leave the drippings behind and I'm going to put them in a clean pan. So now that I've moved those to another pan, what I want to do here is just drizzle my glaze on top of these. And then I'm going to spend a minute or so here getting these tossed in this glaze. And then I'm just going to kind of spread these out in an even layer and we're going to put these back on the Joe for about five minutes. I'll just crack this lid open and we'll get them in the heat here for about five to eight minutes or so to let that glaze set up a little bit. Okay, and after just a few minutes here, I believe this glaze looks good. So I'm going to take this off and we're going to have a look. Okay, guys, let's just have a look at one of these. I'll just grab one of these out of the middle here and let's just you can kind of see how that guy's going to fall apart let's have a taste mm. oh man that is money i wasn't sure how that was going to turn out but let me tell you something this roasted pineapple habanero glaze on pork is is really working well fruit goes well with pork and man i'm going to eat the other half of that and man this pork belly makes some of the best burn ends i've had in my life the fat content in these uh, really brings burn ends to a new level so guys you're going to have to give these a try and let me know what you think until next time this is john setzler with atlanta grill company